Today we are going with a sense of the season video and today we are going to be looking at the bakery and the spice collection. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna. This is my Wonderland and today we are going to be looking at the spice and bakery selection. Now I have to say that the bakery se selection often lets us down here in the UK. I have to say the Americans just get all the really good bakery scents. Um, however, we do have some good ones and we do always get a little bump in our bakery section over the Christmas period. I am going to cover our spices and our bakery section for this video. Um, and so we have four spices and we have um, eight bakery scents, which is really good. So we're gonna start off with the um, spice collection and we are gonna start with the first one in the catalog, which is this one, it is apple cinnamon sticks. So apple cinnamon sticks is apple peel, spiced white pumpkin and a touch of oak. Now, did you know that there was a white pumpkin? Mm. So this one is pretty spicy. The cinnamon, st I mean, it doesn't even say it contains cinnamon. It says white pumpkin and a touch of oak and apple peel, but it smells cinnamony to me. So if you're not a fan of cinnamon, I wouldn't go for this one but you definitely get that apple in there and that sort of cinnamony smell. So it is really nice. I just feel like I'm not a big fan of these scents particularly, but at Christmas time, it just makes it smell like Christmas. So I do like it because of that, but you know, just sticking it under my nose. If I walked into a room and it smelled like that, I wouldn't be offended. So apple cinnamon sticks there. Then we have autumn half. Now autumn half is queue up classic apple cinnamon and tonka are all about fall so yeah you haven't got the um there's a bit of freshness to this one as opposed to the apple cinnamon sticks i think the tonka just sort of brings that little breath of a bit more breathy scent to that. So it's similar to apple cinnamon sticks, but it's just a little bit more of a fresh scent, fresh cinnamony scent, I think. And then we have one of my favorite. So this is my favorite of the spice collection. It is Christmas Cottage, and it's probably because it's got a bit more fruit in it. So it is a blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices and it just is Christmas in a wax bar. And it is, it's that fruitiness, it's the sweetness that that fruit adds to the spice that makes me think Christmas in a, in a wax bar. I absolutely love it, Christmas Cottage. And then the last one in the spice collection is Sweet Orange Pomander. Now, if you are an, not an orange fan, um, I don't think Christmas Cottage would put you off. It doesn't smell overly orange to me. And we will see about this one. Again, it's more of the cinnamon for me. I don't really get orange from it. Maybe I'm just sort of, with the cinnamon scents, they just smell cinnamony. And there's sort of undertones of other, so, I, oh, hang on. Let me warm it up a little bit. Because I did get a hint. Yeah, underneath there is that sort of um, satsumari orange scent in there. So yeah, so that is Sweet Orange Pomander, which actually came out in a collection last year, I think. So that is where that one came from. So that is our four wax spice collection. Now moving in to the bakery selection and it's weird because i think america has like lots of cookie scents and dough scents and things like this and ours all sound a little bit not as bakery as what i feel like the americans get but it's all good so the first one in the bakery is a blueberry rush this has been a scentsy staple for years so a sweet surge of ripe blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant and pomegranate. And it does smell very, 
very blueberry like it actually reminds me of when I was a teenager and we used to have those soaps from Woolworths that were all shaped like fruits and we were all spraying dewberry everywhere that's what that kind of reminds me of so yeah it does take me back dewberry yeah so that is blueberry rush then we have one of our best sellers. Well, Blueberry Rush is actually a bestseller, but this is a bestseller as well. And it is Hug in a Mug, which is one of my favourites. Oh, it just smells like chocolate. So it is curl up with chocolate, hazelnut and cookie dough. And that is exactly what it smells like. Chocolate, hazelnut, cookie dough. And it's just yummy love that one absolutely love hug in a mug then we have a new one to the seasons um it was actually in a collection last year one of our christmas collections and it is marshmallow mint coca and it is just mm. to me it's a little bit after eight mint kind of smell it's got that chocolate and it's got the mint. So it is cozy up with a mug of hot chocolate as airy marshmallow and peppermint float over a rich layer of creamy cocoa. And it is just delicious. So I think the I think um, the options hot chocolate do a mint hot chocolate and that's what it smells like to me just reminds me of that so that is delicious I'm really happy that they brought that back into the main catalogue then and their next one is one that we've had as a scent of the month and that is pink sugarberry mint it matches my nails guys you see new nails um, I went shorter this time decided to go for short natural look which I absolutely love Mm. So pink sugarberry mint is plump raspberry is delightfully dusted with sugar and sweetness with a hint of peppermint. I have to say the peppermint is stronger in the mint, mint coca. I'm not really getting the mint scent on cold, but it is a really pretty sweet smell. I'm not sure where the bakery essence comes in with this one. To me, this belongs in the fruity section. But yeah, it is so beautiful and I really like it. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but I absolutely love that scent. So that is that one. The next one we have is spice cake. So, you know, there's a little bit of spice in this and a little bit of cake in it. So heavenly slice of spice cake baked with cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon and ginger because there's always room for dessert. And it does. It just smells like a cake that's got spice in it. It's not Christmas cake. I feel more like a tea loaf type cake. But yeah, it's really pretty. You can smell that spice. It is not as... Um, it's not as heavy on the cinnamon as the spiced one. So if you like a hint of cinnamon, this one might be better because you've got that ginger cutting through it. So yeah, really beautiful. That is spiced cake, spice cake. And then we have one of our classics. So this one is our standard, um, standard bakery scent that is here all year round and it is vanilla bean buttercream. It is, it says it's not a bestseller, but it is one of the, it's the one that stays in the catalog all year round. And it is just beautiful. It's just got that vanilla-y, buttery, goodness so decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with sugar cane and vanilla extract so yeah it's just beautiful and i love it it is one of my favorites vanilla bean buttercream and the great thing about vanilla bean buttercream is that you can mix it with some of our other scents and make things so especially our fruit selection so um fruity uh, ones with this and you can make like apple pie and lemon meringue pie and things like that by mixing it with that one so it's a really good mixer then we have vanilla cinnamon maple which i've got a feeling was part of the collection 
um, one of the collections last year. I don't know whether it was the same as the mint coca one or not, but this one is cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. Mm. Yeah, again, it's giving me Christmas drink vibes, like that kind of hot chocolate um, with the whipped cream. Just, just a hint of spice. Again, not really heavy on the cinnamon because of the sweetness of the, the buttery cream scents. So that's really nice. Really like that. So if you are a fan of cinnamon but don't want it too strong that is another good one to go for and then finally we have vanilla waves now this is sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites and this one to me this is the one that smells more like buttercream just got a bit of hint of sort of nuttiness to it maybe that's the sea salt just really nice it's a subtle cake um bakery scent so if you want something that's a little bit more subtle not too overly sweet then vanilla waves is a good option for you so that was our spice and bakery collection we are going to come back next week with another selection from the catalog so do join us for that hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when it next uploads and i will see you then if you are new please pop a red heart in the comment i'd love to say hello to you please hit the thumbs up button on your way out it really helps the channel to grow and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye for now